The debate between John ja Morant and Anthony Edwards as rising stars in the NBA has captivated basketball fans and analysts alike. Both players have shown exceptional talent and potential, but they bring different skills and styles to the court, making the comparison an intriguing one. John ja Morant, the second overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft, quickly made a name for himself. As the starting point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies, Moran has demonstrated his ability to lead a team, showcasing a blend of speed, agility, and creativity that has drawn comparisons to some of the league's elite guards. His dynamic playing style, highlighted by high-flying dunks and clutch performances, has made him a fan favorite and earned him an all-star selection. Anthony Edwards, on the other hand, was the first overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Known for his scoring prowess and physicality, and also being MJ's son, he has rapidly developed into one of the league's most exciting young scorers. With his strong build, he attacks the basket with ferocity, and his shooting touch has improved significantly since entering the league. His ability to score at all three levels, inside, mid-range, and beyond the arc, makes him a versatile offensive weapon. Morant as a point guard, is seen as the engine of the Grizzlies' offense, responsible for setting the pace and creating opportunities for his teammates. Edwards, primarily a shooting guard or small forward, is more of a natural scorer who can take over games with his ability to put up points in bunches. In this video, we're gonna compare the two based on finishing, playmaking, defense, shooting, accolades, and ball handling. Let's tackle the first aspect, finishing. In his first three seasons, Morant averaged 18 points in year one, 19 points in second year, and 27 in his third year. He's known for his scoring ability, particularly in the paint despite being a point guard. Despite his nature, he makes most of his points in the paint. In the 2022 season, he averaged almost 17 points in the paint alone. lead in this opening round series. Morant, oh! A jawbreaker! Ant-Man, on the other hand, averaged 19 points in his rookie season, 21 in year two, and 25 in his third year, with his scoring steadily increasing each season. Edwards is a dynamic scorer with a strong ability to shoot from the perimeter and drive to the basket. Both players are prolific scorers, with Moran excelling in his ability to finish at the rim and Edwards being a more versatile scorer with a better outside shot. Edwards' scoring average is increasing, potentially closing the gap with Morant. Morant leads after first comparison. Now let's compare their defensive attributes. When comparing John Morant and Anthony Edwards in terms of defense, Anthony Edwards generally has an advantage over John Morant due to his physical tools, versatility, and potential to guard multiple positions effectively. Edwards' size, strength, and athleticism allows him to be a more impactful defender, capable of taking on challenging assignments and making plays on the defensive end. Moran has averaged about one steal per game through his first three years, while Edwards has an average of 1.4. And with blocks, Moran's average was 0.3 after three seasons, while Ant-Man averaged 0.6. So in terms of defense, Edwards is clear. 1-1. Third comparison, shooting. When comparing Anthony Edwards and John ja Moran in terms of shooting, several aspects of their game stand out. Edwards has demonstrated a more consistent three-point shot compared to Morant. After three seasons in the NBA, Morant averaged 30% from beyond the arc, whereas Edwards averaged 36. John ja Morant has been less consistent from three-point range. Edwards' shooting ability is a key component of his game allowing him to be a more versatile scorer from different areas on the court. Edwards takes a 2-1 lead. Fourth comparison, playmaking. Morant holds a clear advantage over Edwards here. Morant's role as a point guard and his exceptional court vision, passing, and ability to create for teammates make him one of the most effective playmakers in the league. Edwards, while capable of making plays for others, is more of a scorer, with playmaking being a secondary aspect of his game. Morant's playmaking drives the Grizzlies' offense, while Edwards' playmaking complements his scoring ability, contributing to the Timberwolves' overall success. After their third seasons, Morant averaged seven while Edwards averaged four assists. This is evident enough to prove Morant is the better playmaker. 
2-2. Now, let's head over to the next comparison. Handles. Okay, so both players undoubtedly have great handles, but Edwards has a little touch of Kyrie in his game. He is able to create scoring opportunities off the dribble, which takes him a step ahead. Morant also has incredible handles. It's very tough to pick one over the other, but Edwards is tightly clear. Edwards. Three, two Edwards. Let's head to the last and last most. Personal awards and achievements. Both players have had impressive starts to their careers, with Morant currently having a slight edge in terms of individual awards, but Edwards showing immense potential and already making his mark as an emerging star in the league. John Morant so far has been able to secure NBA Rookie of the Year 2020, two-time NBA All-Star selections, All-NBA Second Team, NBA Most Improved Player, NBA All-Rookie First Team, Anthony Edwards so far has NBA All-Rookie First Team, NBA All-Star Selection in 2023, FIBA World Cup, and Olympics Gold thanks to Chef Curry. Morant is ahead of Edwards here. After our six basic comparison, the score is a draw 3-3 with John Moran excelling at finishing, playmaking, and also the accolades, while Edwards has better handles, shooting, and overall defense. But I honestly would choose Morant over Edwards because of what he has been able to prove with the Grizzlies, making them a playoff contention team. Comment your thoughts below who you think is the better player and what makes him the better player. Subscribe for more interesting ball content. See you in the next. Peace.